guys, Horatio here, and today it is part two of my very special duo of reviews. Today it is the Robot Damashi Doraemon. To see Nobita, check out the link right here. This is an exceptionally cool toy. As I said during my Nobita review, I have not been more delighted by a pair of toys in forever. These are just the greatest things. Bandai really did us a favor on these ones. They just did them so perfectly, which I'm really pleased about since Doraemon has such a special place in my heart. So, let's take a look! Alrighty, so here we've got our Doraemon Robot Damashi in its box, and as with Nobita, we have some very nice stills surrounding the front from the anime series. Got more on the back, and then back here we've got a detail of all of the additional gadgets he comes with as well as, as, as some suggested poses. Then more right there. Flip up to the top, and let's get him cracked open. And here we've got Doraemon as he comes out of the box. Very, very cute, very show accurate. And as with Nobita, he comes with a ridiculous amount of accessories. So let's start out going through those. We have got the Anywhere door, which fits into his pocket as though he's taking it out. We have his size flashlight. We have a tachycopter for Doraemon, and as with Nobita, he has a magnet in his head. Doraemon, who doesn't have hands, also has magnets in his hands for holding his accessories. We've also got a Dorayaki which he can hold. I'm going to take the tachycopter off for the, one of the next pairs of accessories. We have got his robot ears. A uh, little known fact about the Doraemon cartoon show, a little known plot twist in it. Doraemon, who is a cat robot, though he doesn't have ears, his ears it, were chewed off by a mouse. And we've got a mouse right there giving him a series-long fear of mice. Then we've also got an air cannon for Doraemon. And then in addition to the eyes that you see him wearing, he comes with four additional pairs of eyes and two mouths. For starters, we've got happy eyes. We've got angry eyes. We've got scared and or surprised eyes. And we've got crying eyes. And then for additional mouse, we have the mouth he is wearing. Then we have a screaming mouth. And a wider smiling mouth. So now that we've gone through the accessories, we'll take off his ears, take away his dorayaki and his light, and let's bring him up and take a look at his posability and some of his details. He has some very nice paint and molding. The whiskers are molded in, as is his mouth and his nose. We've got his bell. His pocket opens up to accommodate the anywhere door. And then on the back, we've got his tail. And then for head movement, we've got quite a great deal of head movement going in one direction only. And then his arms can click forward all the way or click back. And then he's also got a nice shoulder joint in there and his hands move. Not that that really matters quite as much. Then for his legs, we've got movement. They also pop out and come down a little bit, which affects how you'd have him standing occasionally. We fit those up. So not a whole lot of movement. But with all of the accessories and the facial changes, there's a whole lot of posability available to Doraemon. And honestly, with the kind of cartoon character that Doraemon is, and with his body shape, you wouldn't expect a whole lot of movement. The movement that they've been able to incorporate into this figure is a lot more than I expected them to be able to pull off. So now that we've gotten a close-up of him, let's try out some of those accessories and some poses. So for starters, we have Doraemon holding the Anywhere door coming out of his pocket. We've changed his face and eyes, tilted his head back. 
and that's very, very cool. The Anywhere door is definitely my favorite of all of Doraemon's gadgets and inventions. It's just a very, very, very fun one, very imaginative. Definitely something that I will, I will always remember very fondly of this show. So let's try him out in another pose. Here we've got a very, very, very frightened Doraemon watching as a mouse eats his Dorayaki. That is one of Doraemon's favorite foods. It is a kind of pastry. It's bread with Atsuki bean filling. So we've switched out his mouth and his eyes, removed his accessories, and then given the mouse and the Dorayaki. So let's give at least one more pose a try now. Alrighty, so for this one we've changed out his mouth and his eyes again. We've given him his air cannon and his Takecopter, like he's flying, having a play fight with Nobita. He would need a stand in order to stand up like this, but it is a very, very cool position. Then you do have to remove his hand in order to apply the air gun. Overall, a really, really cool toy. I am so delighted and so impressed with these figures, and I simply cannot recommend them enough. It's definitely something worth going out and grabbing for yourself. Alrighty, guys. Thanks for watching. Comment, like, subscribe, do all of that wonderful stuff, and I will love you forever. And to see this video and more like it, check out RidersRangersAndRambles.com. Crazy Toku News in the craziest way possible. This is Horatio signing out, and I'll see you guys in the next review. Oh! <laughs>